And then um, jumping off the sales and operations side, I want to jump into how you guys coordinate across architects, contractors, and on the product side. So what are different things you are doing and how do you wear a different hat depending on who you're talking to and working with? That's interesting. Eh? <laughs> well, I, okay. Do you mind if I jump first on this? No, yeah, go ahead. I, I don't even I, know what to say yet. <laughs> I, heard you, I heard you say something earlier, which is so true, is that, you know, you it's definitely a different dynamic yeah. selling to the contractor versus consulting with the architect. Okay. Yep. And because you got two different mindsets and yep. um, you really have to learn that balance of, um, it's totally a different process. And uh, you have to, you know, again, you're wearing a consultant hat with the architect more. You're being a resource, even though you're a resource to your customers too, and you're consulting on that side, but it's, the dynamic is definitely more consulting on the architect and design side. And the customer side is more transactional. Um, and again, you're looking for, from a customer side, they're looking for lead time, price, you know, urgency, um, so many other different things that are more transactional. And on the architect side, you're dealing with, again, consulting, you're dealing with drawings and specs and, you know, how you help to get that right. Um, and, and they have two different uh, wishes, I think, too. And I always say, you know, I like what Kate says, you're a chameleon because you really do change. And, you know, it's like, you know, you're, you're singing one song with the architects and you have to sing the opposite song with the, uh, with the contractors. And there, you know, there's also, a, there's also a tension between architects and contractors. Sometimes yeah. you have to deal with, <laughs> you know, and, and it's, yeah. it's real, it's, it's real. And you can't, you know, I've done, I've had years where I'm, oh, I'm just going to favor, I'm going to be on the contractor side. And then you're like, well, no, I'm going to, then you say, I'm going to be on the architect side. So that you got to find that middle ground of balance of helping both out. And it works, by the way. Yeah. You can, you, you can, yeah. Do it. And you never know the relationship you're coming into either. Um, I've had projects really sour with that relationship. And I have had projects that are fantastic. And I love working with that team of contractors. So, I know you can kind of get stuck in the middle if you don't know what the relationship is. It's like, okay, are we good here? Are we not good here? How's it going? Yeah, I like to think of it kind of as like a a circle or a cycle or, you know, like we go in and we, we talk to the spec writers, the architects, and we, you know, get our products on the project and then the drawings come out to bid and then we're bidding it to the contractor in the office. And then, you know, we're going back to the contractor and trying to win you know, win it and then we win the project and then we <clears throat> do submittals and then they go back to the architect. And so then we're, you know, seeing the architect's name again and, you know, seeing what they're changing and the colors that they're choosing and all that stuff. Um, you know, and you want to be careful, like they're, you know, when it gets to that stage, you can't really like go to the architect directly. You're going through the contractor to the architect. So it's like a weird, you know, um, dancing game you have to kind of play uh, when you're, when you're into a project at that point. Um, and, and I remember when I was like younger, I would, you know, go in the field to meet a contractor and I learned pretty quickly, like, you know, sometimes I would wear, like, of course, I, I was 23 years old, so I would wear like stiletto heels and like these dress pants and I would go into these hospitals and they'd be like, well, we need, you know, help measuring. And, you know, I looked like an idiot because of what I was wearing. And then, so then I started wearing, you know, more like work boots and jeans and stuff. And then the architects, the designer side, like I would you know, dress up really nice and, um, you know, be like much more aesthetic looking, aesthetically pleasing when I would go into their office, you know, it's even like a different look that you go with, um, yeah, sometimes. And yeah. yeah. So it's just, uh, it's just funny, but you know, everyone in the industry understands how it works and you know, knows the dynamics. So. Yeah. I've you know, definitely had the dress mishap because I wore yeah. a dress to the office because I wasn't supposed to go on site. And then all of yeah. a sudden you get a call to go on site and I'm like, okay, Next time, like any time I'm in CA and it's a local project, if I am going into the office with a dress, I typically pack like a backup, just jeans and like a nicer yep. t-shirt or I'll leave it if I've got a locker in the office just to like, yep. you know, that I can still wear and have diversity in what I'm wearing, but <laughs> I did the definitely had the instance. Like Timberland boots in my car. It was funny, yeah. which yeah. I don't think guys have to, you know, deal with this as much, but I you know I I basically stopped wearing dresses altogether. You know, after like five years, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna 
you know, play it kind of casual. And now people, I think, are more casual than they were 15 years ago. But um, well, yeah, funny. just to say from a guy's perspective, what and it, <laughs> this goes back to about working both sides of this dynamic is that, like, I've done lunch seminars where I've, you know, I'm wearing a suit or maybe or in a oh, yeah. dress, and then. I'll be like, oh my goodness, I forgot. I, I scheduled a job site meeting at two o'clock. And I, by the way, I've got to walk this job. And by the way, it's March and it's been raining for a week. Yeah. So I have not, I do not have boots with me. I, you know, and no, I've learned so boots in my car. But so now you've changed your hat from this consulting lunch seminar hat to this job site hat. And I had to sacrifice my dress shoes that day. <laughs> but, uh, Especially with exterior, then you're dealing with more, like, I had a site that pretty much oh, was yeah. all clay. And oh, so, yeah. like, as soon as that dries on your boot, it's done. Whereas as soon oh, as yeah. it's an interior project, I'm like, oh, okay, I can wear my interior work boots and it's different. <laughs> and so, yeah, it definitely changes. Well, because of this dynamic, too, I think what I like about the role is, and the job is, it is a you talk about variety it's something new every day yeah and it's awesome you know, yeah yeah so that's that's a big thing it's you get a lot of variety doing this yeah <laughs> check out the full discussion from this bite of advice here if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on more mentor dino content